Oh, what's up, my beautiful soul subscribers? Welcome back. It's your girl, Unknown Goddess Tarot. Uh, so we're just going to pull some general energies out here. Uh, the first one was a little all over the place. It was different messages, but hey, sometimes it be like that. Take what resonates, okay? Some other Isis, Father God. As I open these realms, I ask that you give me clear, honest messages from my soul, soul subscribers. Use me as a vessel and protect my orbs and my chakras. So mote it be. All right, so let's see. What's going on around my collective? If you are seeking a personal reason, reading, I, all that information will be in my description box below. It says remain positive. And at the bottom we have no need to worry. All right. So for somebody out here, um, I feel like you need to speak um, positive affirmations over your ideas because you know what you think it is what you're going to manifest, right? Yeah. What you think it is what you're going to manifest. So there's no need to worry. Just remain positive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, your angels hear you. Okay, those resources above hear you. All right, whatever you are out here manifesting, um, stop stressing. Stop stressing. There's absolutely no reason to stress, okay? All right, let's see what else is going on. Somebody's really, really, really worried right now. Really worried. Mm. A lot of fears and anxiety right now. Why is that? Why is that? Hmm. Okay, let's see what's going on, my collective. It says no need to worry. Remain positive. All right, so let's see what is. All right. Eight of Swords and King of Wands. All right. So, yeah, there you go. There go that negative thought. That's that negative thoughts all up in your head. All right. Somebody needs to stay positive. Stop, stop thinking. And you need to speak a positive affirmations over your situation. All right. Stop doubting yourself. Um, I feel like somebody right here is worried about their material stability or all the work that they're putting in, they just, they're so passionate about it, but they don't see it coming to fruition. Spirit is like, yeah, it's, there's no need to worry. There's no need to worry, honey. Listen to your intuition because it's guiding you on the right path. Okay. It's guiding you on the right path. There it is. The action and the direction that you are taking right now, it's you're in the right direction. Okay. So there is no need to, for you to worry. Follow your intuition. King of wands out here. Okay. Follow it and, and take that guidance because you're getting the spiritual downloads. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What else is going on out here, spirit? Eight of cups. Yes. You are getting the spiritual enlightenment to see what direction you should walk towards. Okay. Yeah. If somebody's worried about walking away as well. Maybe this King of Wands is someone that wants to start a passionate new beginnings, but they worry that whatever they have, all, all that they built, they're worried about walking away from it or they might feel like they might lose everything. Yeah. Feel like they might lose everything. King of Swords. All right. Yeah. He feel like if he, if he asks for a divorce out here, he feel like he's going to, he's going to lose everything. Yeah. He wants to take action. Somebody wants to take action and come back to you. They want to end the state. Mm. Or it could be as well. This King of Wands made a final decision out here. An absolute decision to walk away from someone who is very negative. Okay. Very negative. And decided that they, they, they called it quits. They see the truth. They determine to stand in their truth and take action in the way they choose fit. All right. Yeah. Yeah, they no longer want to take action with this person who they was in a relationship with. So they called it quits. They go to divorce that single man. Started his passionate new beginnings on his own. And that's an absolute truth. This man is going through a rebirth. Yeah, he walked away because he's going through a rebirth. Some truth came out here. Okay, some truth came out here. All right, let's see what else is going on. Yeah, okay, well, the truth is this person is coming back to you. Two of Cups. Okay, two of cups. They would love to team up and collaborate with you. They would love to team up and collaborate with you. All right. Yeah, but whoever this person is, they're no longer worried about them. I feel like this King of Wands, King of Swords energy, I feel like he's kind of like racing against time. 
He's racing against time right now. That's what he's that's what he's worried about, time. I feel like he he's waiting to see he's waiting to take new act to take action. Yeah, he's definitely inspired to take the new beginnings of actions out here to come and express his love to you. He definitely wants it with his two of cups. Um but whoever he's over here filing this divorce from, okay, with the three of pentacles, they probably got like, you know, a child together, children together, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's a father, you know, he's a father, a husband. But he's 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 waiting on some final decisions out here for this judgment to come to a finale, I guess, right? Yeah. So he could take action to come back and work with you. So I feel like they're dealing with some type of judgment out here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll see what else is going on, Oscar. Okay, okay. Yeah, this person, yeah. Five of Pentacles. He's leaving this person out in the cold. He's pushing forward. Okay, yes, definitely pushing forward. This King of Swords is pushing forward. And he feels as if he's destined to be with you. I really do. That's what this man feels. Okay, but either way, this wheel is turning. Things are moving forward, okay? Things are absolutely moving forward. But for somebody, it's, it's work-related, okay? It, it is work-related. You feel like all the passionate new beginnings, your ideas. Somebody's worried of like, you know, I put so much work into this. When am I going to be happy and finally balanced and reap my rewards, you know, and see my success? And Spirit is like, don't, don't be positive. You're not being left out in the cold. Stop thinking negative thoughts. Let that thought go. Okay. They know that you work so hard to get yourself from out of this rut of, the, of being broke and you, you, you're, you're worried. Okay. But Spirit says, just remain positive. Those new opportunities are coming, honey. Yes. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep taking that action. You're being inspired. You're getting those downloads. And in due time, you will see your success. You absolutely will. Um, just keep pushing. Don't look back. Okay. Don't look back. Yeah. Yeah. Also for this King of Swords, he's definitely moving forward, all right? He made an absolute decision to move on and leave this person out in the cold, all right? Yeah, and they are getting their passionate new beginnings. They want to come out here and, and, and start a new beginning with you. And this person feels really absolutely inspired by you, all right? You give this person inspiration. They find you very inspirational, all right? Yeah, yeah, they find you very inspirational, honey. Yes, they do, and they would love to come and work with you. All right. Um, also, what I'm picking up here with somebody that's building something here, something, whatever you're working on, a, a project, a business idea, whatever it is, Spirit says to speak up. Okay. Speak your truth. Start going out here and pushing forward. Start seeking people that can help you to build and work with you, okay? Start speaking up. You gotta speak up. You gotta talk out loud what you want. You gotta start, re remain positive. No need to worry, all right? Listen to your intuition, because it's here, it's on point. You're getting those spiritual downloads. As well, with this King of Swords, as I see right here as this with this romance, all right, yeah, he's willing, he, he's, he's ready to come back and, 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 and express his love to you, honey. Yes, he does, honey. This man got a lot of passion for you. As you can see, he is ready with the with that wand in the hand. Okay? That wand is in the hand, honey. Ready to come in and put the work in. Yes, he is, honey. I feel like this man has been holding himself back for the longest time. Waiting, like in a hermit energy, celibate energy. Yeah, I feel like that's what's going on. Okay? He's not willing to compromise with anything less. No. No, no, no. All right, so he's definitely pushing forward, definitely coming back to work on the situation with you, but he left this person out in the cold, or this is you just within your thought. Um, Spirit is like, stop doing that. Rem remain positive and stop worrying, okay? Stop thinking negative energy. Get yourself out that low vibrational energy, okay? Because your hard work will not be um, unnoticed, okay? Your hard work will not be unnoticed. Just remain positive. All right, let's see what else is going on out here. Yeah, somebody's really stressed. Nine of Swords, look at that. Somebody's having a lot of sleepless nights. Is it this King of Swords? 
Is it this person that you divorced and walked away from? Closed out that cycle from? Who are they worried about? They, they worried if somebody is out here giving you the, dealing with that flower power or you giving away this magic stick. They want to know who you involved with. Okay, so this, yeah, they want to know if you're involved with somebody else. But I feel like I told you this person feels like time is running out. Yeah, this King of Swords, he feel like time is running out. And he's worried that somebody else is going to see you and, and scoop you up. I'm telling you the truth. He feel like somebody else out here is going to come out here and put the passion on you. Somebody going to come and take you over, honey. All right now. Wait a minute now. I feel like this. Yeah, he feel like this is not this divorce is not going fast enough. Whatever he's dealing with right here. He feel like it's whatever situation he's he walked away from out here. Okay. Turning that wheel, moving forward, but he feel like things is just not moving fast enough with this karmic cycle to end this cycle. He's ready to come out here and start new things with you. Okay? Yeah. I, I'm going to tell you all right now, if the, for the ones that who can procreate, protect yourself if you ain't trying to get pregnant. Because I told you this king of wands, oh, he's coming in, boo. Not only to team up and work with you, but some of y'all going to end up pregnant. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That love going to be so passionate. Huh? Boop. Next thing you know, you pregnant. Huh? I'm going to tell you right now, some of y'all going to end up pregnant. Mm hmm What else is going on, Spirit? Oh, okay. High Priestess. There go that intuition again. Follow your intuition. Remain positive. Seek your answers from your guidance within. Okay? Seek your answers from within. Listen to your intuition, Spirit is saying. There is no need to worry. All right. Yeah, there's no need to worry, boo. This man got a lot of romance. Yeah, I'm telling you, there's going to be so much romance and compassion out here. All right. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. This man is willing to come back and compromise and work with you, honey. They want this king of wands, king of swords, this divorced man. Yeah, he realized there's got to be something better. And he's letting go. He's letting go of the situation. That's why he walked away. He made an absolute final decision to let go of this, this, this marriage. Okay, there he go. There he go. There he go. He decided to let that go. All right, now he's moving forward. He's pushing forward because like he said, there's something better. That's something better is with you. That's something better is with you. Okay, now. All right, now. This person is finally waking up. And, and, and like I said, they, they are listening to their intuition. They are trying to be, I don't think, I don't know. This, this masculine over here, this is a masculine energy. He's coming back for a divine feminine out here as well, okay? That's what he's doing. You're the you're his true two of cups. Okay, my divine feminine. This is this masculine. Oh yeah, he's he's divorced. And that's that, that's an absolution. That's an absolute fact. He's done. Okay? He is moving forward. Like he said, there is something better. Okay? But I feel like he's worried because I mean, look at you. you're a divine feminine. Anybody would love to come and put a ring on your finger and wife you. Okay? Yeah. Oh wow. So I'm taking I'm picking two energies from that 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 high priestess energy. Okay, let's see what's going on out here. Let's see what's brewing out here. What's 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 going on? What's this yin yang energy? Let's clarify some more on this bird. Yeah, self-love intentions. All right, so you already putting the self-love into yourself. You're highly intuitive. You're taking action with yourself. You absolutely loving yourself and getting your spiritual guidance. I feel like you're already living in your life purpose with that self-love and creation and your intentions. Yeah. Um, Spirit says also with the person who's worried about what they worked in, all they uh, invested in, all the their passionate new ideas and wondering when is my opportunities coming. Okay, like Spirit says, follow your intuition once again. Once again, listen to your intuition. 
and just be easy, fall back. Cause there's, I feel like somebody's just overthinking a situation. Definitely overthinking that you're thinking all sorts of negative, unnecessary things. Spirit is telling you, please rain, remain positive. Okay, do that. Do that. Do that. Because like I said, you are getting the spiritual downloads. You are getting, you are on the right path. You are. Um, for this, for this, for this, for this, this King of Swords, this one right here. Yeah. I told you he's worried because he knows that you put that love in, honey. You are very creative. They, you know, you're very passionate. You, you inspire this person to do the same, this King of Wands, to love himself and take action in his own life and bring forth his own balance. And that's what he sees you doing. Because my collective, you already living on your destined path. You already on your destined path, okay? That's the only way you're going to start getting creative, putting in that self-love and self-intention. Okay, it's all about you. All right, let's see what else is going on. Yeah, that's you, present day abundant and in your higher self. That's you, Divine Femme. That is absolutely you. All right, and I feel like, what's this behind here? Yeah, you're already in your higher self in this present moment, in grateful and gratitude, being grateful and, and, and showing gratitude. You're already doing that. Your person is right here. They want to come back and apologize. Okay, like I said, they would love to team up and uh, celebrate with you and, and collaborate with you. Okay, um, but they're going through their transformation right now. That's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. For this King of Swords, King of Wands. Okay, yeah, yeah. You're already doing this with your intentions. That gift, celebration, abundance, they see you as that. They would love to team up, collaborate with you and share their wealth with you. This masculine wants to share his ideas, share his wealth, share his abundance with you. He see you as a gift. Okay? Yes, he does. But right now, he's right here taking care of himself with this self-care, getting himself aligned. Yeah, with this transformation. All right? And pushing forward. That's what he's doing. All right? He's absolutely going through a rebirth. All right? Yeah, yeah. He's absolutely spying on you. There he go. There go that masculine. There he go spying on him he's watching you all right but like i said he's going within and healing himself healing those inner childhood wounds starting to put going through that transformation yeah all right and trying to get that stability going within himself and that harmony and that flow within himself all right yeah yeah there you go they're gonna ace the pentacles that you could be dealing with a, a capricorn taurus or virgo all right but that Ace of Pentacles is coming in, my collective. You're about to hear some good news. So stop stressing yourself. And if you need help, go ahead and ask for help. Ask people that can help you take uh, help you take these new opportunities, take that new step and get you stable. Because that success is here. They got that Ace of Pentacles. The success is here. So Spirit said there is no need to, to worry. Remain positive. Continue doing what you're doing. Don't look back on your journey or try to look back with regrets. If you took the right path, should I have walked away from this decision? Did I make the did I make the right call? Did I make the right judgment? Spirit says, yes, you have. Yes, you have. Okay? Yes, you have. Stop worrying. There you go, that ace of pentacles, ace of wands, teamwork and collaboration. So some of y'all need to go seek help. Okay? Delegate some of that work. Okay. All right, my collective. Yeah, I like this. Two different energies. Two different scenarios. Yeah, this masculine, he's coming back out here. The king of soul, he's coming back out to speak his truth and express his love. Yes, he is. I told you. Coming back to heal the situation with you from the past. But in order for them to come back to you, divine femme, this masculine knows. In order to come back to you, divine femme, this masculine knows. He has to go through a transformation and heal his childhood wounds. And that's the absolute truth. He's awakened now to seeing the truth for what it is. For whoever who he was with or within himself. All right? Yeah, he's going through that transformation. He's woke, woke now. He's getting that spiritual guidance. All right? So that's, that's that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, my collective, that's what I have for y'all so far. Yeah, stay stable. You see the Ace of Pentacles out here, Three of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Yeah, you about to get the, the good news you're waiting to hear. Okay, remain positive. All right, what's this? 
Yeah, you better get that good news you're about to hear. They go to Star Card, baby. All right, renewal and spiritual path. Follow your intuition. You've come from too far to give up on yourself now. Okay? You've come from too far to give up on yourself now. Stop thinking negative thoughts. Let it go. All right? Stop worrying and start thinking. Remain positive. All right? Yes, yeah, Spirit says there go the star. Could be an Aquarius. Could be an Air, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Mm hmm. Could be a Scorpio, um, a Taurus that's worried. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. That could be stressing right now, but things are about to turn. You're about to get the news you want to hear. All right. All right. So that's what I have for you all, my beautiful soul subscribers. I want you to, yeah, there it is. Things is about to completely change. Things are about to completely change. Hold the courage. All right. All right. There you go. That's what I have for you. Y'all about to celebrate. Don't you worry. About to celebrate. Relax. All right. Love and light, my collective.